delivery or same day delivery. You can also trade in and trade up for cash back and take advantage of our 60 day price match guarantee. While you shop a broad selection of acclaimed brands from a proud employee owned company of product experts. Hurry into Howard's today. 7 on 7 is sponsored by Howard's. Discover the Howard's difference in your neighborhood. Your dream destination for mattresses, appliances, and TVs. Hurry into Howard's today. We're following breaking news. The Oakland A's move to Vegas has been unanimously approved by Major League Baseball owners. A 75% vote of the 30 teams was necessary to make the move. The A's plan to eventually play in a stadium on the Las Vegas Strip near Allegiant Stadium. That's where the Raiders are playing. The Raiders left Oakland just a couple of years ago. This today's 7 on 7, more rain heading to Southern California. Yesterday's rain was the first of two storms this week. Caltrans has taken over the scene to start repairs at the site of the 10 freeway fire. Debris cleanup was finished two days ahead of schedule. The search is on for a 20-year-old who police say is tied to a series of violent home robberies in North Hollywood. A man has been arrested in connection to the murder of a woman in Laguna Beach. 26-year-old Dino Rojas Moreno was arrested in Laguna Hills. Thousands of Starbucks union employees are set to strike today on one of the busiest days of the year. They say they're demanding higher wages and better staffing. President Biden and China's President Xi Jinping appear to have friendlier talks at APEC in San Francisco. Biden says they have agreed to resume military to military communications. And we're just hours away from practice races at the inaugural F1 Las Vegas Grand Prix, and that's your 7 on 7. If you're here watching us on Channel 7, Good Morning America is next with Michael, Robin, and George. And we're here getting set for Eyewitness News at 7 a.m. You can watch that on on the website or at ABC7 Los Angeles, the app. <laughs> Good morning, America. An anti war protest in Washington turning violent. Breaking overnight, demonstrators demanding a ceasefire in Gaza. Ceasefire now! Protesting the war outside the Democratic National Committee, coming face to face with Capitol Police. Several lawmakers evacuated, six officers injured. Israeli forces inside a hospital in Gaza. Overnight, releasing video they claim shows evidence of Hamas activity. As officials say, a deal is progressing to release dozens of hostages. Biden's summit with Chinese leader Xi Jinping. The president touts progress, taking steps to improve military communication and slow the spread of fentanyl. Top killer in court. Bahamas Ferry Tragedy. The investigation after an American tourist died. We hear from one of the boat's passengers. Cabin pressure. The big question with the sky is about to get very crowded to recline or not to recline. Plus, with just one week before the busy Thanksgiving travel weekend, an FAA report calling for urgent action to address aviation safety after a series of close calls. Scene red. This morning, thousands of Starbucks workers heading to the picket line for a Red Cup rebellion on one of the company's biggest days of the year. TikTok to the rescue. How a college student's satirical post saved her life, leading to a kidney transplant and a friend forever. Into the end. And into World of Frozen. We're rolling into Thursday. Woo! with a spectacular first look from Disney. Let it go! Maggie Rooley is there. Here we go. Into the Live in Times Square, this is Good Morning America. No, we are not going to let it go. <laughs> we are not. Can you believe it's been 10 years? Listen, I remember the day taking the girls on Thanksgiving Day 10 years ago to yep. go see the first Frozen. And don't you love seeing Maggie Rooley oh, in your She's so much fun. She always is. You're yeah, right. I remember those days too, George. <laughs> and also ahead this morning, we have the latest on the flash flooding in Florida and the extreme water rainfall. Some schools down there are closed due to substantial flooding. We are going to begin with the protest of the Democratic National Committee in Washington that forced the evacuation.
evacuation of several lawmakers last night. You see it right there. Cap police say about 150 people were illegally and violently protesting, calling for a ceasefire in the Israel-Hamas war. Senior congressional correspondent Rachel Scott was there. She's at the DNC now.